Here are the top five budget cards you need in Madden 24. Taking a look at the very first wide receiver, and this one happens to be Tyquan Thornton. This is an 81 overall. It came from the Campus Heroes promo. Taking a look at him, he is 6'2", 183 pounds, which is good for his height. 87 speed on an 81 overall card is incredible. 87 is literally top end speed. The best wide receivers in the game have 88 speed without a theme team. Of course, with the theme team, you can get it up to 90 speed. That would be guys like Jerry Wright who have 88 speed base we even have Bo Jackson as a running back with 88 speed but taking a look at his other stats he has 84 deep route running which is really the only thing that you're really looking for he is a deep threat now his short and medium isn't too great in the 70s catching in the 70s but this card is going to be great going down the field running those deep routes I mean he's 6'2 he's going to be able to catch some of the high balls you might throw at him 77 change of direction nothing too crazy there spin and juke isn't there but you might still be able to get away with it if if you don't do a hard juke but regardless this is a solid card and he's only 25,000 coins or less depending on when you're seeing this video this is a wide receiver that you definitely need on your team because it's top end speed on the other side of the ball to stop some of these receivers such as Tyquan Thornton and other guys such as Jerry Rice then you're definitely going to need some corners with some speed this is where number two comes in that's Eric Stokes 81 overall he came from the campus heroes promo he is six foot one 194 pounds so he's a really solid built corner 87 speed 87 acceleration that is literally top end we do have Deion Sanders with 88 speed and 88 acceleration but regardless this is a top end card his press could be a little bit higher man and zone could definitely be higher 84 jumping so he's definitely going to go up there and get those interceptions for you taking a look at his juke and spin move nothing too crazy there 77 change of direction honestly nothing more you could really ask for I mean this guy is literally just going to be a budget beast especially when it comes to speed and you're going to need these guys as receivers start getting faster and faster. Just like Tyquan Thornton, this card is also around the 25,000 coins or less budget range. I want to give you guys some corners and some wide receivers and some players that are at least elite players because the market kind of has shifted with Campus Heroes. A lot of the cards that would have been budget cards are now like 70, 80 to even 100,000 coins. So Eric Stokes being 25,000 is really good because Deion Sanders is literally about 300 to 400,000. So definitely in the category of budget, but this is definitely a guy you need to pick up. This is going to be somebody that I'm going to pick up. He's the fastest corner that would ever be on my football field. Definitely consider picking him up. He's super cheap at 20K and that's not too hard to go ahead and earn as well. Budget beast number three. We're taking a look at the headliners promo and this is going to be OJ Howard. This card is literally just about 11,000 coins. He is an 80 overall tight end possession catcher. He then comes with reach for it and he has 84 speed. He is six foot six. 250 pounds so he's a really big tight end and honestly you could basically throw this ball up to him and he's most likely going to come down with it even though his catching is in the low 80s route running isn't too crazy I mean he's got 73 short route running but to be quite honest with you you're not really worried about what type of routes he's running he's going to go up there get those footballs that you need and he's honestly going to come down with them you might even be able to moss some people really good red zone threat I mean six foot six even if a game isn't all about height anymore at least in this Madden you you might even be able to throw a high ball to him and he still might come down with it even though some of those balls do get dropped nowadays in Madden 24 compared to Madden 23. He's even got 85 spectacular catch, 80 juke move which is really underrated. His deep route running is in the 60s, break tackle 78. So he's going to definitely break some tackles here and there but this is honestly a solid tight end and definitely somebody you should look to pick up. I mean 84 speed on a tight end, it's definitely top end at the moment. Budget beast number four to no surprise is Chase Brown. This card is literally going for under 6,000 coins. He's a 78 overall. I would like to honestly put Budget Beast at elite cards at this point in the year, but honestly, he has 86 speed and it's literally almost kind of like in between top end speed. Right now, the best running backs have 88 to 87, maybe 86 speed. So Chase Brown definitely ties a few of the running backs in the game. 86 speed on a 78 overall and you're only paying 6,000 coins when all you need to do is just honestly find a running back that is able to juke and just make sure that you don't actually get hit as long as you don't get hit 86 speed should definitely be able to crib i have been running jameer gibbs he has 85 speed on his rookie premiere and i've been able to have many house calls even with all the current running backs that have all of the really high top end speed at 88 so at 5'9 215 pounds he's a decent size running back 81 jumping which isn't going to matter too much 76 carry 
carrying. So he may fumble, he may not, but so far this Chase Brown card has been actually solid. 70 spin move, 76 juke move. Unless we get another budget running back, at the moment Chase Brown is probably going to be your best bet unless you take a free headliner running back, but that is completely up to you. This Chase Brown is definitely solid. He doesn't get any abilities, unfortunately. As long as you just honestly juke or just stay out of the way and run stretch or even just a halfback dive, this card will play its part very perfectly at 78 overall. It's a really good budget card. You could run it online and you could run it against solo battles and even against the computer. So definitely consider picking this up if you guys do need a running back or even just a running back number two just to have a backup with good speed. This is definitely the card to go ahead and grab. Budget Beast number five coming from the Campus Heroes promo is a free safety 81 overall. Louis Cine, he is a free safety that is 22,000 coins. And if we take a look at his stats, this card is honestly going to be a user card. And that's probably where you want to play him. I mean, you could play him up top with 85 speed, but of course you probably want to have faster guys up there, even though you could probably get away with 85 speed and he's six foot two, 202 pounds. He's got 85 speed, 87 acceleration, 80 tackling. So he's definitely gonna be able to tackle 80 zone coverage. So if you want to run him up top, you definitely can 84 hit power. So that's definitely solid. You would like it to be 90, but some people are not just built to be Cam Chancellor, who comes with 90 hit power on his cards, which is absolutely crazy. And he's caused many fumbles for me. He's also got 74 block shed, 77 pursuit, 78 play wreck. Now, this card will not really get any good abilities. He might be able to get Lumberjack and maybe Stonewall, which honestly is probably all you need, especially because that'll stop people from getting extra yards on you. But if we take a look at his change of direction, I know it is 73, but if you want to use this card, at 85 speed, you definitely can use this card. I mean, he's 6'2 with 85 speed. I know his change of direction isn't that great, but to be fair, change of direction really isn't that great on next gen to begin with. So he might actually play solid as a user if you do feel like wanting to run him there, but you definitely probably can run him over the top or just run him in the box. It's completely up to you. This is definitely budget beast number five. He's only going for about 22,000 coins at this moment. Now let's go ahead and get into some honorable mentions because I feel like there's a couple cards we could talk about here. Honorable mention number one is going to be Cedric Tillman. This is also from the Campus Heroes promo, and he's going for about 23,000 coins. He is a physical wide receiver, 81 overall, plays for the Browns. He is six foot three, 215 pounds. He has 85 speed, 88 jumping, 84 spec catch, 81 short route running, 77 medium. His deep route running, you probably honestly do not want to run him deep. Maybe put him on a streak so that route running really doesn't matter too, too much. This card should be solid. I mean, he's six foot three. You could kind of substitute 85 speed. Of course, you'd want to have guys like Tyquan Thornton who have 87 speed, but you could definitely get away with 85 speed on a 6'3 receiver. He also will have the tier one ability, so you can put reach for it on, on him for like 2 AP or 1 AP, just so he can make sure that he falls forward and gets a couple extra yards for you. But for a big body receiver, definitely a player to consider. The next player we're going to be looking at is A.T. Perry. He's a 79 overall, and he's going for about 7 7,000 coins. Now, if we take a look at his stats, this card is actually solid as a really, really budget receiver. Now, I know you see 84 speed, which is probably the slowest that we've had on this list of honorable mentions and even the top five budget cards, but taking a look at his route running, 83 short, 76 medium, and 74 deep, so nothing too crazy there. Short route running is definitely solid. His catching stats are all right. His juke and spin is in the 70s. Carrying's in the 70s as well, but here's where this card's really going to excel. He is six foot five, 205 pounds. If you have a Saints theme team, you could get this card up to 86 speed, but this card, being that he's six foot five, he could actually do some damage in the red zone. This is definitely somebody you want to have as maybe wide receiver four, maybe wide receiver five, just because you could honestly throw him into your lineup. And if you get into a situation where you're at the goal line and you just want to do like a simple fade route on maybe a shorter DB, then his six foot five height and for only 7,000 coins, it's actually probably worth taking the risk because he probably will come down with it and he's not even going to have to really get off the ground that much at six foot five. So that is going to be all of the honorable mentions and that is all of the top five budget beasts in Madden 24. Let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions on these budget beasts. These cards are definitely solid and if you have a budget team or are low on coins, then these are definitely some cards you should consider picking up on the auction house. But with that being said, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, put on post notifications so you guys don't miss another video. Have a rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.